Life City family, what is up? It is Bobby in my happy place, the grocery store, but the theme of this video is not gonna be so happy because if you walk around the aisles of any grocery store, you're gonna see corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup used a lot, maybe in some surprising places, and that's a problem because as I'll explain in this video, high fructose corn syrup isn't used in many other countries because it's highly discouraged, but we use it here for our lovely citizens. It's also addictive, cheaper, and sweeter. It's a prime example of profits over people, and I highly encourage you not to eat it. So we're going to walk around, show you what it's in, why it's bad, and how to swap it out with a better alternative. Let's do our thing. Ladies and gents, we have breaking news. I repeat, breaking news at the Flav City News Desk. This is new. It's called a Nitro Pepsi Vanilla Draft Cola. Ready for it? Look at this. 63 grams of added sugar in this can, but this sugar ain't coming from cane sugar. It's coming from high fructose corn syrup. 63 grams is 16 teaspoons of sugar. Winner, winner, folks. We have a new champion of the soda aisle. That's crazy. But the reason why I came here is because these sodas right here, we all know they're bad. We all know they have a lot of sugar. But do you know the primary source of sugar in here? Pepsi, high fructose corn syrup, Coca-Cola, high fructose corn syrup. Wait for it. Minute Maid Lemonade, high fructose corn syrup, Wana, Wana, don't you wanna, Wana, Fanta, high fructose corn syrup, and tonic water, right? Everyone knows it has a little bit of sugar in there. It's sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. Here's the kicker. In other countries, they don't outlaw it per se, but they highly, highly discourage the use of high fructose corn syrup. So get a bottle of Coca-Cola in the UK, What's it sweetened with? Real sugar. But here we use high fructose corn syrup. On top of that, it's from GMO corn. Well, yeah, it's sweeter, it's cheaper, it's also more addictive. So you come back and you drink more and more and more. And the problem is this is absorbed into your body much quicker than regular sugar. I wonder why one out of three of us are type 2 diabetic or pre-diabetic. This is wrong. And the fact that Coke makes this in other countries with sugar, but here high fructose, that's horrible. This is officially America's bottle of ketchup. It's Heinz tomato ketchup. What's the sweetener in here? Probably a lot of sugar, right? No. The only sweeteners in here are GMO high fructose corn syrup and corn syrup to the tune of four grams per serving. But get this, a serving size is one tablespoon. That's a serving size. Every serving size has one teaspoon of high fructose corn syrup, and everyone's using more than one tablespoon. But here's the part that makes me mad, right? I'm mad as heck, and I ain't gonna take it anymore. This bottle is also in the UK. This bottle of catsup in jolly old England ain't sweetened with high fructose corn syrup or core corn syrup. It's sweetened with regular sugar. Once again, why? Their government strongly discourages using the cruddy high fructose corn syrup. So Heinz is like, okay, we'll use sugar. But for us, they use it here. And yes, it's sweeter and all that stuff, but because it's sweeter than regular cane sugar, they can use less. And it's cheaper than cane sugar. Profits, profits, profits over you and I. This is totally crazy. I will give them credit though, because there is a version here that says no sugar added, and I was expecting it to be sucralose or Splenda. It's actually sweetened with stevia, so kudos to them there. My go-to is Primal Kitchen. I usually buy it on Thrive Market, it's a bit cheaper. There's no sweetener, there's no stevia. It's just the sweetness from the, uh, the tomatoes and balsamic vinegar. This is great. High fructose corn syrup, ain't. Welcome to the kids kind of fruit snack area. The problem is there's not much fruit in here. And even though this one says fruit is our first ingredient, it's about all I get. So if you look at the ingredients, yes, fruit puree is the first ingredient, but they also put artificial flavors. Let's push that aside for a second. How is it sweetened? With corn syrup and then sugar to the tune of nine grams of added corn syrup and sugar per pouch. Nine grams is just over two teaspoons of added corn syrup and sugar. Add on the artificial flavors. What, what would Manus Calco say? Why would you do that? That is crazy. And then think about it for a second, right? This is geared toward kids. Corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup makes you addictive because it's more sweet. They're addicting the kids to corn syrup at a very young age. Kind of criminal to me. So I'd put this back, unfortunately, at this store. I don't see the Bobby approved ones, but they're out there. Go to Costco, they have the That's It bars, or um, at many stores now, including Costco here and there, the Bear Yo-Yo bars. It's just fruit, nothing else. They ain't got the corn syrup, they ain't got the artificial flavors. That's downright criminal. 
Let's take a quick break from that video and talk about the mattress that I just woke up on from a great night's sleep. It's my organic Birch mattress from Birch Living. They're a longtime supporter of the channel, yes, but I also have a promo code now that gets you 400 bucks off your mattress of choice and two free pillows, but comfortable, yes. But when you start doing research about a non-toxic home, something I do a lot of videos about, you start to realize that, yeah, your laundry detergent, your dish detergent, even your hand soap can be really bad with toxins. But the bed is one of the most toxic things in your home because over time it does something called off-gassing and the materials in here will off-gas the toxins. And we're talking about endocrine disruptors. We're talking about hormone disruptors. It can be really bad. Well, that's how I got turned on to Birch Mattress about two years ago. Yes, it's non-toxic. It's also super comfortable. It's made here in the USA. It's made with four simple organic materials, but it's great because you order online, it comes to your home, and it's very easy to set up. Here's the best part. You can try it out for 100 nights, and if you don't love it, they'll pick it up, they'll take it back, and they'll give your money back. It also has a 25-year 25 uh, 25 uh, warranty, which is great. So if you're in the market for a bed and a comfortable and a non-toxic one, use my link down below. I actually get emails about it all the time asking what my link is. Birchliving.com slash Flav City, 400 bucks off your mattress of choice and two free pillows. Birch is great, it's comfy, and it's non-toxic. So if you're in the market, check it out. Raise your hand. Growing up, were you a Chips Ahoy fan? Or like me, were you an Entenmann's fan? Those Entenmann's cookies were so soft and delicious. We all know they're bad, but how bad are they? Well, let's pick up this one right here. I don't use soybean oil or canola oil. I use butter. I don't use palm oil. I don't use artificial flavors. And I sure as heck don't use caramel coloring. And for the sweetener, coconut sugar, maple sugar, even regular sugar would be allowable, right? My friends, high fructose corn syrup to sweeten the cookies? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. What is high fructose corn syrup? It's cheaper than sugar. Profits over people. It's sweeter than sugar, so you can use less of it. It's true example of profits over people. And once again, these are geared towards kids. Criminal, downright criminal. See you in the court of law. Parish lawyer coming after you. This should have it. Now listen, I know there's a nationwide shortage of formula and all that stuff, but I've done uh, actual videos about baby formula reviews, and you wouldn't expect there to be bum, ba, da, ba, corn syrup solids in infant formula, but they do that. It's usually the cheapos that do that, but in my mind, that is so wrong in so many ways, because as we know, corn syrup is the cheapest, sweetest, most addictive form of sweetener out there. To use that in here, Forget about for a second the fact they're using GMO, milk whey protein, uh, soybean GMO oil, highly inflammatory sunflower oil. The sweetener is so bad and it's going to infants at the very beginning, the most important time of their life. That's crazy. Also, fun fact about corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup is that it also lights up your brain in a way similar to drugs, similar to an opioid. So if you're literally starting your infants with corn syrup at that early of an age, they're becoming dependent on it, and it's actually hardwiring in their body to crave more. When it comes to infant formula, uh, Serenity Kids is fantastic. Uh, La Luca from Europe. There's a few more. I'll put the links down below. But that, like all the other ones, is incredibly wrong, but even more so that. I love real deal maple syrup. Desi uses it a lot for baking. Fantastic flavor. But if you're buying the knockoff syrups like pearl mining or the artist formerly known as Aunt Jemima, we all know it's not syrup, but what is it? It's something way worse than you can imagine. The sweeteners are a double dose of corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup. Wait for it. How do they get the color? With caramel coloring. How do they get more flavor in there? With artificial flavor and then a litany of preservatives like sodium benzoate, sodium, wow, can it, hex hexamethophosphate, that's a new one. This is horrible, horrible stuff. Because the high fructose corn syrup is more addictive and sweeter, you're really gonna run into problems, so you're better off not using any of this stuff at all. That is it from the grocery store, my friends, my second home. When it comes to corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup, we gotta avoid it. Unfortunately, no one's looking out for us because when we see what the products they're in, it's clearly a case of profits over people because it's addictive, it's cheaper, it's sweeter, it's a major no-no. And the fact that other countries don't put it in their exact food products and we put it in ours is wrong. So just be aware of that, avoid it when possible, but I will leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. Later.